Hi there, Dave from Path Paradise here again, following up on your deflasking with how we take these out of community pots. This is about a year after deflasking. You should have nice healthy plants. It's going to depend on the cross. This is an extremely vigorous hybrid. Some of them aren't going to get quite as big, but you want nice strong roots. You want nice strong plants up top. They're well rooted and ready to move into individual pots. First thing we do, we want to make sure these are well watered so when you're handling the roots they're not going to break. We're going to pop these out and we can see we have really good roots so we are definitely ready to move these into individual pots. As we separate them, tease them apart carefully. I always pull out the biggest plants and put them in a pile with the biggest and sort them out that way so then these little guys get set aside for smaller pots. We've got our pots ready. Generally we need two and a quarter inch rose pots and the two inch squares. It's whatever pot you prefer. These are what we prefer. They stack together nicely in the trays and have good depth for the, the larger plants. Perfect timing. You can see if you look closely there's new root tips emerging. So these are going to jump right into the new mix. We're doing this in May. Good time of year. Springtime. New growth is starting. Slide it into the pot, clean off all the old bark, clean off any soft roots. <clears throat> we have our bark mix ready. It's our standard seedling mix of classic Orchiata, some perlite, about 30% perlite, and we use a little bit of charcoal. Tap the plant down, make sure it's well rooted, get the crown right at the, so at the surface of the bark, so the roots are going to go into the bark and it's not too far up. We stack our trays with the plants at about 10 to 4. That lets you stagger the leaves. If you put them directly in line with the pot, they overlap each other. This way you stagger them. You can put more plants together this way. When we get to our smaller pots, obviously we go to these ones. Then when we have our leftovers after we've potted out some decent sized ones, the little guys get composted. You feel free to grow them out yourselves. This is a complex hybrid. This is probably going to take 10 years to bloom. Nobody needs that. The ones that, are, that sort of look like they have some strength but maybe got crowded out in the community pot, what we'll do is make miniature compots. So we'll take a few of them together, pop them into a, one little compot, and then by the end of this year, early next year, sometimes some of these guys actually jump up and take off. So I've got five or six here. If a couple of these ones take off and become good strong plants, we'll keep them. Otherwise, they'll just go into compost as well. No point growing out things that have no vigor. Next, of course, we want to water these in. We use our dram watering the way we water everything else. And it's a good deep flush. The same way we water, water the nursery. The drams break up the water into fine droplets. They pick up lots of air and you get a really good flush through the pot, but you're not moving the plants much. It's not like using a high power garden hose. So once these are watered in, they go off to the bench. In about a year or two, some of these will need to move to three and a half inch pots and then they'll be blooming size. Hopefully within three years from now, we're gonna see the first flowers from these crosses. Email us if you have any questions. Check us out at pathparadise.com. Thanks.